For Frankston resident Paul, being able to give back to the community has always been part of his DNA. I've supported your town for five years. But unlike most people who buy your town prize home tickets, Paul takes things a little further. I go for a big drive up into Queensland to buy the tickets, A, because I can look at the house that's up for raffle, and uh, B, it gets me out of the house for a while instead of sitting there watching TV. Most people probably don't drive all the way up from two states away. Buying prize home tickets ensures your town can work with young people to help them learn skills, find jobs and live safer, happier lives. When I was uh, younger I had a pretty hard upbringing. My mum just looked after myself and my two brothers. Left school at 14. And then when I got to about 18, I decided to join the army. Ended up uh, getting sent to Vietnam. Now retired on a service pension, Paul is still looking after his family. I also look after one of my younger brothers who was involved in a, a big accident. He suffered a little bit of brain damage, so I sort of look after him rather than see him put in a home of some description. Travelling solo, Paul religiously makes the drive north to every Your Town Prize home. I normally stop around about Coonabarabran in New South Wales or sometimes in Dubbo, a bit more northern New South Wales. And then when I get to Queensland, uh, I stop at um, Tweed Heads usually. Because I fought for Australia, I uh, love the fact that I can get out in the open spaces and that instead of being sort of locked up inside at home all the time. and. Uh, you know, appreciate what a great country Australia is. Some of the towns I go through are uh, Jerilda in southern New South Wales, Forbes, Parks, a bit further north. Uh, then we get to the Queensland New South Wales border, come to Windy. And I go through Warwick and uh, then Narang and come out round about the Gold Coast. Then I head to wherever the uh, house is. Paul does the 1,732km trip north to Queensland in around 18 hours. Tonight, stopping in Dubbo. Quarter past six, I was on the start of the freeway to get to the new highway. With the first leg behind the wheel now over, Paul's eye is still squarely on the prize. I am looking forward to seeing it. The pamphlet looked like it would be a nice place, so I thought uh, I'll go up and have a look at that one. It should be terrific. After another early start, Paul finally reaches his destination, Talai on the Gold Coast. Fantastic. Whew. The view on this house is, is really fantastic. Uh, you'd pay a lot of money to live somewhere like that. I could see myself sitting out there just about every night of the week. There you go. Oh, very good, thank you. Uh, I'd like to buy a ticket? Yes, please. Uh, I'd like to buy the, um, 20 of them, thanks. 20? Okay. Yeah. And just your postcode. Uh, 3,200 postcode. Okay. Franks and Victoria. You're a long way from home. Yeah, certainly. It takes a bit of a give it a get in there, but it's worth it in the end. And because of the continual support from people like Paul, your town can continue to provide vital service for young Australians in need. It would mean everything if I won this house. Um, the place I live at in uh, Frankston is fairly sort of old and run down. It'd be like uh, leaving a tent and going to the Taj Mahal. There's your tickets there. Thank you so much for making the trip. With his tickets now safely in his possession, this amazing digger is already thinking about the next trip north. I'll probably keep driving up here uh, to see the houses uh, that your town put puts up for raffle, probably till they take my licence off me. If I can help support kids that need some help now and uh, it gives me an opportunity to win a nice house, well, why not? Your town, new name, same passion, same purpose. <laughs>